This is the civilization for NLL. Welcome to the Noble Leaders League. I am Shotlike. This is the first division game between Sara Jakob and Huayna Kapak. The season has started slow for both of these leaders. At least Sara Jakob has a victory, one win and two losses in his first three games for two points in 13th place in the table. Juan Kapak is number 17 after three losses in three, so a total these two leaders have played six games and lost five in between them. Both have lost to Catherine as well. Starting position wise, we see Sara Jakob. Let's get some resource bubbles on for the time being. Uh, pigs clams and some iron and he starts here in that middle continent up here in the north of that one there is a possibility to go to the eastern continent i believe uh, before astronomy but not to this northwestern and not to the this uh, mini continent and not to this mini continent in the east but there is a lot of good green lands with a lot of jungles though by the way uh, near sari Jakob's starting position Near Huayna Kapak's starting positions. Oh, clam, clam, clam. And there is also a fish out there. There is also oil. And we see pigs behind there. So if he founds here, he of course misses out on the fish. He needs to either go one west or one south in order to get that fish. But if he goes south, he misses out on the clam. So he should settle on that spot there. We wouldn't know that because we are going to have the focus on Sara Jakob, the home leader. Let's get the game started. Off we go. Sara Jakob versus Huayna Kapak. And the loser of this game is going to have had a really, really poor start of the season. They are in different religions. Huayna Kapak is annoyed with Sara Jakob. Which is a good sign that this is not going to end in a Diplo win at least. Sara Jakob with two cities first. And Huayna Kapak did only have one city when Sara founded his third. Now it's 3-2. Turn 106, 4-3 in the city counts. Coming up to turn... 1 AD, 5 cities Sara, I think it was 3 Huayna Kapak cities at 1 AD exactly. We see that Sara Jakob has expanded into that continent to the east and Huayna Kapak has gone the only way possible for him and that is towards Sara Jakob because he has very little lands available while Sara Jakob now has a lot of lands over on that new continent. 9 cities to 6, we are going to I am interested in seeing how much Sari Jakob will focus on expansion there before the eventual war. Sari Jakob going is 1.3 times as strong as Huayna Kapak at least. And going for literate aesthetics, literature and stuff, music, 10 cities to 6. He is building his cities over in the continent to the east and Huayna Kapak has the problem that he probably doesn't have. Well, Huayna Kapak is pleased with Sari Jakob at the moment, so maybe he has open borders. I wouldn't know. Huayna Kapak at least has nationalism. Going for education, Sari Jakob is on feudalism. But the bit Sari Jakob 15 60, uh, cities. 16 cities, excuse me. To Huayna Kapak's 6. This should be a decisive advantage favoring Sara Jakob in this game. We'll just have to wait and see if it comes to fruition. 18 cities to 6. But will Sara Jakob actually attack Huayna Kapak and win the game? Which he should do. I don't know. It looks like Huayna Kapak is taking on the uh, continent up in the northwest. At least he has two cities up there by now. Eight cities, Huayna Kapak. Sorry, Jakob is just now on astronomy. Huayna Kapak is going for the printing press. 21 cities, Sara Jakob. Eight for Huayna Kapak. And Huayna Kapak. He is in trouble, Sari Jakob two times as strong as Huayna Kapak as well, Be building another city up there in the Arctic. 23 cities to 9, Sari Jakob is going towards nationalism. We have passed turn 270, so we are in the 19th century. Sari Jakob getting paper, going for education, 24 cities to Huayna Kapak's 10. 
and it looks like Sarah Jakob is also founding a city up on that northwestern continent where Juan Kapak has a foothold. Yes, he does. And Sarah Jakob going towards liberalism. Juan Kapak on 12 cities going for the communism. Sarah Jakob's going for Libu 27 to 12. And it looks like there was no message, so Wernicke Puck has probably... Wernicke Puck has a golden age ending at least. Wernicke Puck probably got liberalism before Sarah could get it. 29 cities to Sarah Jakob, 13 to Wernicke Puck. 30 for Sarah Jakob now. 30 cities going for corporations. Wernicke Puck, 14 cities. Sarah Jakob's 30 and we have the first war of the game. We do have a declaration of war. 31 cities Sarah Jakob, 15 cities Wernicke Puck and Sarah is more than twice as strong as Wernicke Puck. So we'll see what's going to happen now. 15 cities for Wernicke Puck. Sarah on gunpowder getting that. Chemistry next. Wernicke Puck is also getting gunpowder soon. 15 cities for Wernicke Puck. 32 for Sarah Jakob. Sarah Jakob on chemistry. And on to military science. 32 cities to 15. Turn 313. And Wernicke Puck has completed the Shreddag on Paya if anyone is interested. 15 cities for Wernicke Puck. 33 for Sarah Jakob after he founded yet another city. Going for replaceable parts while Wernicke Puck is on military tradition. 15 cities left for Wernicke Puck. He hasn't lost that much yet. But I think that Sarah Jakob with his production cap capacity should be able to out produce Wernicke Puck when it comes to military units. He's 2.4 times as strong going for steam power and now Wernicke Puck is going towards rifling but that could be too late couldn't it? Sarah Jakob is on steel 34 to 15 turn 325 326 Sarah is getting steel before Wernicke Puck gets rifling and going towards railroads next Still 15 cities left for Huayna Kapak though. 14 cities now. Sarah has taken a city away from Huayna Kapak. Huayna is down to 14 cities. And the question now is how many cities must Sarah Jakob take before he reaches the domination limit? And that question has been made obsolete by them signing a peace treaty at turn 334 now. But Huayna Kapak is not particularly pleased with Sarah Jakob and I doubt very much Sarah Jakob is pleased with Huayna Kapak. So I expect another declaration of war in the near future. Physics for Sarah Jakob. Wynika Puck is going for divine. Right, 36 cities Sarah Jakob, 14 cities Wynika Puck. Turn 338 and Wynika Puck, if it goes as it looks right now and he goes on to lose this game. That is going to be his fourth loss in a row from the start of the season and that is a terrible thing to experience. But with 14 cities towards Sarah Jakob's 36 I cannot really see how Huayna Kapak can make do and get a point here. Yes, Sarah Jakob 36 cities, Huayna Kapak 14 and Sarah Jakob 2.3 times as strong as Huayna Kapak as well. Getting military tradition now. Wernicke Puck is slowly going towards the divine right. Turn 345. And Sarah Jakob, uh, we are in war by the way. We are in war and Sarah Jakob's going combustion. Wernicke Puck still hasn't divine right. 14 cities left for the Incan leader now. Who? How fast can Sarah Jakob take him down? This is the fight for domination. Sarah Jakob, 13 cities now. Wernicke Puck down to 13 cities. 37 to 13 and Sarah Jakob is on assembly line. Turn 351 It's not going to be a too early domination, but it's not going to be a very late one either, I hope. Wernicke Puck, 13 cities. Sarah Jakob 37 to 13 and Sarah Jakob is still in Hinduism by the way. Wernicke Kapak is probably not going to get chemistry is he? Fascism next for Sarah Jakob. 13 cities left for Wernicke Kapak. Turn 356. Looking at the minimap there are a lot of green units running around. 13 cities Wernicke Kapak. 12 cities Wernicke Kapak now. Sarah Jakob is in electricity. 39 to 12 cities and there it is. The Domination threshold was reached, turn 359, 1939, congratulations Sarah Jakob and Huayna Kapak, he is in 
deep, deep troubles. He has lost four in a row from the start of the season. Zero points down in the relegation zone. Huanacapac really needs to figure out what is wrong and start turning things around. Congratulations to Sara Jakob though. Jakob declared war twice. He only needed to capture three cities. He lost zero. For the domination, turn 359, victory of 1939. Domination. Let's go look at the statistics then. The graphs show Sarah Jakob as number one in score for the most part. GNP was Huayna Kapak that had a very good lead until around uh, almost 1800 here. In production it was even until 1200 where Sarah Jakob went ahead. Food Sarah Jakob was number one from around 1 AD or something like that. Power yeah, Sarah Jakob spiking culture was actually Huayna Kapak number one until he lost a few cities towards the end there and uh, where they became even. It looks like Huayna, it looks like uh, Sarah Jakob actually culture bombed here. Espionage, that was Sarah Jakob. Okay, the demographics then. Sarah Jakob with 1414 in GNP and we see Huayna Kapak 388, that was on the last turn. A lot more land, as you would expect, 53.4 million population. You can see the rest there, and we go to the cities and wonders. We see there were two wonders in the BC area, both of them in Cusco, Stone Ange and the Mahabudi. The top six cities then, Hwane Kapak has the number one city with Sarah Jakob second, Hwane Kapak third, Sarah Jakob fourth, and fifth, and Hwane Kapak sixth. Statistics. Sarah Jakob founded 36 cities, 3 religions, and got 1 golden age, 51 current windmills, 45 towns, 36 mines, built in your cities, 36 granaries, 33 lighthouses, 27 barracks, down to 2 steles, page down. We see the wonders, hanging gardens, you did build an academy, Hagia, Sophia, Sistine Chapel, Muslim, and Mussolos. And you did build the Apostolic Palace. Go top. Current units in the Ethiopian Empire. 84 longbowmen, 39 workers, 31 Oromo warriors. And 21 frigates if anyone is interested. One great scientist that hasn't been used for anything. You did build in or train in your city. 66 longbowmen, 43 workers, 36 settlers. Five cannons at the bottom there. Let's go page down and find that one cuirassier was trained by Sarah Jakob. 
kills 26 riflemen, 20 caravels and 19 horse archers down to one worker and the losses were 12 cuirassiers, 8 grenadiers, 5 war elephants and all the way down to a crossbowman. So Huayna Capac, 15 cities built, 4 legions founded, 1 golden age, currently 27 windmills, 10 lumber mills and 10 towns. You built in your cities 12 terraces and 9 of barracks, lighthouses and forges. Pyramids, Stonehenge, Great Library, Vizier, Colossus, Oracle, Temple of Artemis is there, page down. Parton on Great Wall, you did build an academy. And uh, the Great Lighthouse at the bottom there. Top. Current units, 43 riflemen, 13 workers and 10 cavalry down to one great spy you did build a total of 38 archers 28 horse archers 21 caravels two quechas page down and all the way down to two trebuchets you killed let's confirm 12 cuirassiers eight grandiers five war elephants down to a crossbowman and your losses are confirmed to be 26 roughmen 20 caravels and 19 horse archers down to one worker so, sorry Jakob, congratulations, let's take a look at the victory condition screen and the cities. Sorry Jakob's domination victory then, let's take a look. 74.44% of the land area, 83.76% of the population. And it looks to me like this game could need a little bit of rebalancing here either re require more of the world population or maybe less of the land even though less of the land would not be particularly good because then it would kick in way too early looks like nobody was really trying for culture so i could build the apostolic palace which didn't matter so let's go exit and take a look at the cities of ethiopia then here we are let's sort by population and go to the uh, top. Did I sort by population and go to the top? Maybe. <laughs> At least now we are doing it. Adigalamo 20. Aksum 19. Masava 19. It looks like there are a lot of unhappy people in the Empire. Yeah, this is the net unhappiness or net happiness with this neg negative it's unhappy building Taj Mahal in Adwa building the Kremlin in Cuba uh, 75 uh, production on Kremlin 82 on Taj Mahal per turn Ankober size 10 is the bottom here uh, so let's go and go to the bottom was it Ankober size 10 I said, Ankober size 10 and then we see from Tija and down and uh, there are uh, page 2 cities. You see a lot of them down, down there. The list and you can take a look at the numbers if you want to figure out whatever it is you want to figure out. And let's now go shift into Huanika Pak and take a look at the 12 Incan cities at the moment. That means Sari Jakob is getting a shot at it, so let's sort by a population and take a look at all these cities before they disappear. Cusco, Vilcas, Vitkos, size 10, then Tiwanaku, Machu Picchu, Kori, Huayarachina. Building all units. Um, a little bit, they are rather happy, I see, and not that much production, and not that much commerce so this is it for this game spoiler alert results and updated league tables follows after this screen the table updated and it shows sarah jacob number nine with four points and a negative five score turn difference wanak puck number 18 zero points Negative 29 score turn difference and Wana Kapak he needs to figure out how to win games because he cannot continue doing this. Four straight defeats from the start of the season. That is not going to fly in any division. So Wana Kapak, whatever you do, you have to start getting points. Next game is tomorrow. 
We have two games from the third division again. Brennus is hosting Frederick, while De Gaul is hosting Tokugawa. I hope to see you back tomorrow for those interesting games. I am Jotlek, this has been the Noble Leaders League. I'll see you later.